Hello everyone. So today I'm going to work on this uh, area of impact effect replication. So here now we are in a, a multiplayer environment. When I deploy an area of impact attack, you can see it's not affecting my friendlies, but it is affecting enemies and it's properly replicated through all the instances of the game big one is a server and smaller ones are clients and still they are properly replicated as you can see here okay so that's what we are going to work on today and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects that I have done from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can download anything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. And also this is a part of the section RPG with gameplay ability system series. Uh, you can watch all of the episodes as well. Here I have explained from scratch how everything you see in this series is implemented. I leave the link to the full playlist in the description below. And now let's uh, get back to today's episode. Okay, so right now if I play this uh, area of impact effect in a multiplayer game, as you can see, it does not appear, it does not replicate correctly. So here see as you can see it only appears for the local player but the effect is applied to other enemies everyone else and also we could summarize as well so the actual damage is uh, applied to other characters because the damages are replicated as we have handled them through the uh through and through abilities basically replicated abilities so now what i want to do is instead of directly spawning the damage in the character i want to handle it through an ability so that's what i want to do so first let me show you the way that i have currently implemented it's just here this i just spawn this AOE radial impact object that's what I do what I'm doing right now all right so to implement it this through an ability here under abilities I'll create a new folder AOE area of effect and then I'll create a new blueprint using the type GACLM because this is the base gameplay ability class that I have used for all other abilities it has some special uh, some functions that I have already written to help us out so I'm going to use that as the parent GA -A -O -E, let's call it ASIC no A -O -E. Right here. Okay. Right now, first I need to define a tag. Okay. Now here, uh, I can do the same thing I have done here. Basically, get tag the location and spawn actor AOE radial impact and then deploy attack so let me just copy this I'll just add a Okay, we don't need this. Okay, now instead of the actor, 
I want to get uh, get avatar actor from act time. Oh, yeah. here we need to first assign an ability tag. So I let, I will add it under ability AOE radial. Add and mark it as the tag for this ability. So require tags. Um okay. now let's see what happens. Edge the same thing. It's working. Uh, we have errors. instigator okay what do we get for the instigator oh, right. i'll use this attacker as the instigator that should avoid this problem and still we don't see the particle effect or the sound from the other player so to handle that let's create a gameplay queue Fisher. Let's use this gameplay like queue notify first. This one, because that's the one I have used for other stuff as well. GC. GCN. A O E. Yeah. Right now here, first effect, first particles, I'll put the this one, NSAOE base and the sound, I'll use explosion, magic explosion cube, and then from this actor i'll remove that because here we have the aoe based base i'll just disable auto activate for the sound and the effect because later on if i need i can enable it but for now i'll just auto remove to activate for them so now if I play you wouldn't see the effect in anywhere see? it's not showing up for anyone because I have removed the effect and why did I automatically put this I think I have placed in the level all right maybe that sound is coming because here i didn't add a 
a tag for this. So, let me enter. Let's sub tag gameplay queue. A O E dot ray deal. Okay, now it's not heavy, and also, yeah, what's this? That's fine. Uh, and also, even though I was testing if it is working, I didn't really, uh, I hadn't really used this. So the ability. So we need to use implement it through the ability. This uh, place in the area of impact effect. So first to do that. I'll add this as a default ability here for testing the AAOE radial and then try activate abilities by tag then I'll add the tag this Okay, now let's see. Okay, so it is working. And then here I'll use um, execute gameplay queue replicate. This is something that I had already implemented. So as the actor, we have a give a reference to this. And as the gameplay queue tag, I'll use huh? and parameters. Let's make gameplay queue parameters and as the Location, I'll pass this location. Here, so valid target. Oh, ability system. Okay, we can get our actor, get ability system component. Now let's see. There's nothing. Oh, this is not what I want. Execute gameplay kill. Like it, this one. Okay. And the target. Let me refer to a place that I have already used this here. Target actor is our actor. Right. And Q is Play Q, A or E, radial, and parameters this. Okay, try again. Yeah, now you can see it is properly replicated. Here also you can see the effect. Okay, good. Uh, why am I getting this error? Get game state. Do I have get game state? Yeah. So I don't have a valid game state. 
is that possible anyway i just added c solid not so it's fixed now okay so what else we need to fix maybe we should consider uh affiliation as well that because that means if i am doing a radial attack it should not affect affect the characters of my faction so for that yeah for fact we can check this here we have the other actor get fraction id uh, and also from the attacker can get fraction id and then you can check if these two are not equal if not equal we can continue so my friend list will not be affected by this radial attack okay now this is coming from here maybe this and this is from attacker clean it up a bit now it's clear right now it collapse this to a macro affiliation affiliation check And first input is attacker. And the other one is victim. Okay. Now, even in a multiplayer setting, I should not add uh, damage the other character. Okay. Only the enemies are reacting. Okay, great. But we have a minor problem. I see blood spawns on my sword. That's because when I activate this, I pass my attacker as the instigator. That's why. And earlier, as I remember, I was uh, passing self. So let me try that again. What was the reason for me to switch it? I thought I did it for to fix some issue. See. It works. And we don't have the blood dripping issue on the sword as well so yeah it's working now as expected and i think that's all i want to do in this episode so yeah thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and don't forget to like and subscribe let me know if you have any questions in the comments below uh yeah next episode i think we should work on how to have a proper animation from the character side before uh, to execute the this radial impact so let's look into that next see you in the next episode